The interesting thing about kidney cancer is that we're catching the disease at an earlier stage. So there's been a stage migration where, you know, you still have about a third of patients presenting with metastatic disease, but by and large, most of the patients are presenting with localized disease. We've been treating most of these lesions with radical nephrectomy. And what we've also seen is despite that we're catching it at an earlier stage, we're not having a major impact on the overall survival from renal cancer. What we also know is that 60 to 70 percent of those patients that have radical nephrectomy will subsequently develop renal failure and renal insufficiency with a per proportion of those patients ultimately requiring dialysis. And what we know is renal failure is a surrogate for essentially needing dialysis, cardiac disease, and ultimately death. So I think we're beginning to realize that it's not enough to just catch the disease in an early stage and take it out, but catch the disease, do a good cancer operation, but preserve as much kidney function as possible. So what's happened, because people are trying to keep up with minimally invasive techniques, open nephrectomy used to be the gold standard treatment for localized renal cancer. What happened is there's a big push for laparoscopy, and so a lot of people will tend to do the minimally invasive option that's easier for them, and obviously a radical laparoscopic nephrectomy is much easier than a open partial nephrectomy, but also it's a lot less complicated than doing a laparoscopic partial nephrectomy. The robot has helped me do a uh, nephrectomy in a much faster time than pure laparoscopic technique, although yeah, you have some time in setting it up and docking the robot. But the ability to get down to the renal hilum, dissect out the vessels, is much more kind of precise, feel more comfortable, more in control.